man. You ready for the long weekend? Yeah, I'm super excited for the weekend too. Ooh, I think I'm just gonna relax tomorrow. What are you gonna do on your day off? I'm gonna bike in a confined space for seven hours straight with no one else to talk to but my own camera. Oh. Yeah, I'll probably get super tired, hungry, and completely depleted of energy by the end of it. My legs are going to be so sore that I'm going to be completely useless for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to wonder, why did I even do this in the first place? Oh yeah, I know why. Just for an achievement in a little game. I mean, seven hours straight of biking? Why would anyone do that for just a little achievement? I don't know, but I'm doing it. Anyway, that's what I'm doing on my day off. Where'd you go? Hello, and welcome to the night before the seven longest hours I'm gonna have in my life. That's right, my last route out of the four routes that I have planned for this winter season. The PRL Full. This course is 173 kilometers of biking and 2,290 meters of climbing. That's a lot. And when I put it into best bike split, it's predicting that I'm gonna get a time of seven hours and 15 minutes. I'm just gonna round it to seven hours. In this course, it's not the most exciting as the Uber Pretzel because you do laps. 11 laps, to be exact, around this loop right here. So that'll be exciting to watch. Nope. Um, I have no idea why this course is this long or why it's 11 laps. All I know is that this is the longest course in Zwift, and that's why I'm doing it to finish off my winter season goals, besides my swimming. Anyways, I'm just, I'm preparing everything for tomorrow. I'm getting all my footage ready, so I have enough, you know, storage space to film myself, getting all my fuel ready, so I have more than enough fuel this time, and I'm getting ice ready for an ice bath afterwards. Anyway, I'll leave you to the actual bike ride. Have fun watching that. Okay, here's what I have for this morning's bike. First of all, the front here I have up to six goos that I can take. I'm probably not going to take all of these, but I have a lot just in case. Same with Gatorade um, mixes. I have six of them here. Probably not going to drink all of them again, but just in case. And then I have some breakfast, so some chewy dip, granola bars, and some fruit snacks, clementine oranges, and two bananas for during the ride. There it all is. I think I am ready to go. <clears throat> all right, we're recording. And we are off. And we are moving. Bustling and a bustling. This ride is probably going to take about seven hours to complete. Probably a little longer than seven hours. We're doing a nice little warm up here. I'm going to eat some food like usual. And then we will get on with it. So, I don't think this one will be as exciting as the other routes because it's just repeating the same loop 11 times. So, this will be a pretty lonely bike. There's not really that many people in London right now. It's not a, a premiered uh, spot that you can bike at. But that's fine. I'm not focused on the people. Anyway, let's get on to this warm up and start this super long route. First drink of the morning. Alright, starting to get into it a little more now. Increasing my watts. Uh, heart rate's at 110, which is pretty low for me, which is good. I want to try to keep it pretty low this whole race. Or, whole route. We're about to approach the climb, the first climb out of 11. So, we'll see how long that takes. And then we'll keep going. 
I think my plan is to hit these hills at like 170, 180 watts, so a little higher than my usual, just so I can get up them faster. And then maybe that'll give me a faster overall time, but we'll just have to see. First climb done. Now it's time to take a little more easy up the hill. Or, sorry, take a little more easy going down the hill. And then before I know it, I'll be done with the first loop already. Lap one done in 36 minutes. So if you do the math. <laughs> okay. Probably six and a half hours to do all 11 laps. And then, yeah, probably another half an hour to do the remaining extra bit after the 11 laps. So we're on pace, I think. Second climb done. Two down. Nine to go. Lap number two done. A lot more to go. Lap number three is complete. Uh, lap three update. I'm still feeling pretty good, which is good. If I was feeling bad at this point, there'd be a problem. Uh, but, yeah, that's all I have to really say. I feel good still. I might conserve my energy a little more, just because I don't want to bonk and not finish this so I really want to finish this so I might just take it a little more easy on these next couple laps. Let's keep going. I still have a surprisingly low heart rate. I mean I'm not complaining but I'm a little skeptical if this is reading accurately or not. I mean, the signal has been dropping every now and then, so, I don't know. Alright, box hill, number four, we're done with. Many more to go, let's keep going. Number four, complete. On to loop number five. Climb number five, complete.
Done with lap five. On to lap six. And then we're halfway after lap six. I'm gonna track my second view. I really don't want to fall behind on my nutrition, so I don't really want to have this, but I should have it. Goal number six, done. Alright, lap 6 is done, just over halfway there, um, I'm going to say this is the halfway point because, you know, mental battle, but <sighs> got 5 more laps to go, and about 3.5 more hours to go too, so, that's all I got to say. <laughs> Well, sub 12, I think we can do it, sub 12, let's go, go number 7, all done, I believe it's 7, yeah. Alright, loop number eight. Here we go. I believe it's eight. Climb number eight, I think. All done. Kind of losing count. I don't know if that's a good thing or bad thing. Oh. Got done with lap 8. Three more laps to go. I'm starting to get a little tired. My legs are starting to hurt. But I still feel pretty strong. And like I said, there's only three more full laps to go. And then the extra bit. And then I'm all done. So I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. It's a, a long tunnel, but I see it. Number 10 done. I only got to do that one more time. Woo! Lap 10 done. I am tired. I'm tired and my legs hurt. But I know I can finish. So, we're going to keep going. By the end of this lap, I should hit 100 miles, which will be cool. Last time up this hill. Let's do it. We can do it for this last time. We're not gonna get a PR, but we're gonna we're gonna do the last time strong. Strong. Officially six hours into it. Got about one hour to go. Up 
to 140 beats per minute. Starting to get high. That means I'm getting tired. They're not wrong. That's the last climb. Uh, just 15k left. 15k left. Down with us. Really close to 100 miles. Oh, there it was. It was there for a second, <laughs> and then it went away. Woo! 100 miles. Woo! I completed the loop a minute ago, I didn't even notice. Woo! Now, I just got out and back. And that's it. God. I don't know about you, but I think I'm gonna finish this in under seven hours. It's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be way slower than what I'm at now, but I think I can do 5K in under 30 minutes. We'll see what time I get. I'm guessing I'm gonna get like 6.45 or something right now. But we'll, we'll see. I think I'm getting my second wins. Here's the turnaround point, just around this roundabout here, and I'll be on my way back. One more mile to go, and then we'll be all done. I don't know what it is, but I feel strong now for some reason, not like as dead as I was before. It really shows you how much energy you actually have left in the tank. It's kind of crazy. You can see the, see the finish line from here. Really close. I might get under 640. Wow. Level 25! And I completed the route. I don't know if it showed that or not, but I did it. It's all in. Oh no. There it is. There it is. There we go. That's the end of it. My legs hurt. And I'm tired, but for some reason I don't feel as bad as I did on the Uber pretzel. And I think it's because I fueled better and I trained a little more for this one than I did on the Uber pretzel. It's crazy how much of a difference that makes. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a nice bath and then relax for a little bit. That's all I got to say. Thank you.
All right, for those who want to know, this is how much fuel I went through during this bike ride. I went through three, three goos, um, one, two, three and a half, three and a half Gatorades, uh, two bananas, two fruit snacks, two clementines, and two granola bars. So that was all my fuel for this. There it was. Did you get dizzy? You know, from watching me go in circles 11 times? Yeah, this ride was a little more boring than the other ones I've done. But you know what? It's all done. <laughs> it's all done. Even though this route was longer than the Uber pretzel by an hour, I surprisingly felt much better in this one. Probably because I actually trained for it. Still took an ice bath though. Is it cold? Yep. Oh, it's gonna be even colder yeah, when you hurts. sit down. It's gonna be... It's a little colder than last time. Yeah. Ooh, it's painful. Yeah? Yeah. That was probably the worst part of the day. And now I am free from this ridiculous winter goal that I set for myself. I mean, I, I'm, I'm happy I did it, don't get me wrong. But man, was it grueling. Now all I have to do to finish all of my winter goals is to swim a very long distance. And for that, I decided to challenge myself and swim three miles non-stop. That video will be coming out next, so if you don't wanna miss it, please subscribe to get notified on when it comes out. As always, have fun, stay healthy, and don't do this. Get it. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to check out my bike ride on the longest route in Watopia, the Uber Pretzel. I suffer a little bit more on that one. Bye.